this is what my website should look like. But a minute ago, I received an email that says that for some reason my site is down. What the heck happened over there? So I'm gonna go to my site and what I see there is a ha ha I hacked your site. Now I'm gonna open up my server and what do I see? Every file has been deleted and it's replaced with this file here. Oh no! Unfortunately web host creates backups once a day and this is not the best option for me. So what can I do? Well, fortunately I have a service which creates real-time backups so I can restore my site to the latest point when something happened. For example, I'm gonna click on restore button. I'm gonna choose a backup that was created two hours ago. I'm gonna confirm it. Next I'm gonna enter my FTP host details. Next I'm gonna select the folder. This one here. Click continue. And now there is nothing else for me to do than wait for a couple of minutes while the site restore itself from the latest backup. So it took approximately three minutes to restore my site. It says it's completed. I received an email that confirms that and my uptime monitor says that site is up. So let's check it. And there you go. Everything has been restored. Awesome. As you saw, it took only a couple of clicks. And if you would like to know how to set this up, then let's jump in the service I'm using in this video is called BlogWalt. It's a well-known company among WordPress users and as you see it says that it is trusted by eBay, Sitecare, Intel and so on. What will it do for you is that it allows you to create backups that are stored as encrypted copies across multiple data centers that is one of the data centers should fail then the backup will be downloaded from the other data center so for you it means that you not only have a plan A or B you also have a plan C or D with your backups. As you saw from my introduction you can restore your site with a couple of clicks. I'm going to show you how to create staging sites and all other goodies. Now the pricing for the blog vault is $149 per year and this is the plus plan. It allows you to create daily automatic backups. You can add one active staging site for 28 days. Now based on your need you can choose what is the most suitable plan for you. But those were the official prices. If you take a look at the description of this video then there's a link. If you click on it then you'll get 20% off from every plan. So just follow the link and you're good to go. Okay, now when the money talk is out of the way, let's log in and see what happens over here. Now one more thing, I have created a couple of videos about the blog vault related services. That is, I have made a video about Malcare, which is a security plugin. And I have made a video about Airlift, which allows you to speed up your site with a couple of clicks. I'm going to put the links to these videos also in the video description. Since I have covered in my previous videos what happens on a dashboard, I'm going to just skip this part. And I'm going to go to the sites. Here you'll see all the sites that you have added. Adding a site is really easy. So let's add a site. Let's add a site address. Now it asks for the site username and password. I'm going to add those here. Let's submit. It will automatically install a plugin. And when it's done, it says installation successful. Let's initiate a synchronization. And based on your site size, it may take a bit of time. For me, usually it takes 10 minutes or so. And meanwhile, while it's syncing my site, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. This here displays whether the security is enabled, whether the real-time backups are enabled, whether the site is up, whether there are staging sites created, and how many plugins updates are available. If I would like to access my admin panel, then I'm going to click on this link and I will be logged into my site. If I need to synchronize my site, then I can do it here. I can see the site's history and all other information here. If you open it up, then you'll see the basic data for your site, PHP version, the plan for the site, you can add tags, WordPress version, how many plugins have been installed, teams, users, clients. You can schedule auto update and configure some notifications. As you see, it displays that some plugins have updates available. No updates are available for Teams or WordPress. So I'm going to update my plugins by clicking on this button here. Let's update it. Click Next. Select Save Update. Click Update. And now, based on the amount of the plugins that need to be updated, it takes a bit of time. You'll see all the process on the screen, so you can keep an eye on it. What is a safe update and why is it useful for you is that before making any changes on your site it will make a backup for you. 
So if something goes wrong, you can restore your site to the same condition as it was before the update. There you'll see the screenshot to what was before and what is it now. After the updates, it's comparing the screenshots here, testing all sorts of errors, nothing has been discovered. It purchased the cache so that everything would work smoothly. Now after the updates, you can see that there is nothing to update here. And under the activity log, you'll see everything what has been done for you. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. If you need to restore your site, then click on the restore button here. If you need to choose a specific backup, then click on this change button and you'll see all the backups that have been created for you. Last one was created just a couple of minutes ago, just before the update. If I need to restore my site using this backup, then I'm going to just select it, confirm it. Next, I can select what files to restore, whether to restore all files or just specific files. For example, maybe I would like to restore only WP content folder, then I'm going to do it here. Or I can open it up, deselect folders. Maybe I would like to restore only one of the plugins that was updated. I'm going to select the folder click on confirm and done. And next, in a similar way, I can choose what database tables I, I would like to be restored. If everything is done, I'm going to click on continue, wait for a minute or so and done. If you need to migrate your site from one server to another using these backups, then just click on migrate button, choose a backup version, enter your destination URLs and FTP credentials, Choose the files you would like to migrate, add other credentials if needed, click on continue and nothing complicated also over here. If you need to create a staging site just to test something, then click on add staging site. Select the backup version. Let's imagine this one worked well, but this backup already contains some messed up files. So I'm going to choose this one, confirm, select the PHP version, 8.2 is good. Click on continue and now it's gonna create staging site. Depending on your site size, it may take a bit of time, but since my site is relatively small, it should be done within a couple of minutes. As you see, it decrypted my data. Now it's copying the database tables, now copying files. It says that staging site completed, and as you see, it won't use my domain. Instead, it uses other domain, WP StageNet. This is my username and password for the staging site. I can log into the admin panel. Now let's change something on the site. For example, let's edit the page and change 25% to 35%. Save it. Now let's go to the plugins and let's add some random plugin. For example, this one here. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to go to the blog vault dashboard. I'm going to return to the details page and you'll see it says that there is a staging site, 27 days left, there are site credentials, I can open up the details, I can access my admin panel, and now I can merge all the changes I made to the staging site, I can merge them to the source site, that is my main site, so let's click on it. Now it's checking the staging site status. As you saw, it was syncing to the live site, now it checks whether there is something to sync with a staging site. Now it compares the differences between two sites and then it's going to merge all the information. At any point during this process, you can return to the site details page and the process will continue in the background even if we exit the page. So if you go here, then you will be redirected to your site dashboard. The merging has been completed. You'll see the notification up here. It's completed. And now this is my staging site when I go to my main site, you'll see this text has been changed. And if I go to the plugins, you'll see there is a, a Kismet anti-spam plugin that I installed on my staging site. Awesome. If you need to remove the staging site, then click on the details button. Next, click on delete staging, confirm it and done. Once again, nothing complicated here. So yeah, as you saw, creating backups with a blog vault is really easy and it's also easy to restore your site in case something happens. 
Now, before you go, as I mentioned earlier, I have made a separate videos about Airlift plugin that allows you to speed up your site and Malcare plugin, which allows you to clean your website from the malware. Those two videos are on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at these next. In the meantime, take care.